Welcome to Latin Connection TV, your connection to the community, and so much more. And this is one such community event that is so special. I'm so honored and privileged to be here tonight because I actually volunteered to be the host of the Texas Special Olympics special Oscar viewing party extravaganza, a red carpet event. That's why I'm wearing this full length gown. Can we have my cameraman kind of feature it? Because that's what they do on the red carpet, right? I'm going to do the Angelina Jolie pose there. There you go. And look at all that. And I had to give you a full modeling session there because the gown happens to be designed by my brother Nick Varios and I'll give you more details coming up in more interviews. I'm going to leave you hanging in suspense. What's coming up? You have to stay tuned right here on Latin Connection TV with me, Rita Varios. I feel more than special. Next to me, to my right, we have Chris. Remind me your last name. Poto. Poto. Chris Poto is one of the featured athletes here tonight. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing here tonight. He is? I'll be uh, doing the speech today, the Special Olympic speech I, I wrote. Oh, my friend wrote for me. And who's your friend? Barbara Campbell. Barbara Campbell wrote a special speech because he is one of the featured guest speakers here tonight. Now, do you want, I'm not going to give away anything of the speech because I want you guys to stay tuned to hear what it's going to be all about. But I see you're looking dapper. I love this suit that you're wearing. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you, how are you feeling here tonight? A little nervous, but okay. Very good. Well, you don't look nervous. You look very Elegant, and you know, you are wearing a medal here. May I show these two two this, medals? This is for Unified Soccer. Unified Soccer, and this is what I won Friday at Basketball Air Competition. Wow, congratulations! So, you're an accomplished athlete. That's why we're here tonight to benefit the Texas Special Olympics right here in San Antonio, Texas, just minutes away from the red carpet extravaganza downtown San Antonio at the Manger Hotel. So stay tuned with me. I'm going to have a lot more of these special athletes coming right up. Stay tuned. Area 20 offers 19 different sports, catering to over 9,000 athletes, all Although I have participated in many sports, my favorite sports are basketball, softball, and powerlifting. Since competing in Special Olympics, I have met new friends who also go on together on even gone on cruises together with our family. Participate in Special Olympics has taught me to good life skills and believing believe that I have learned how to walk up with others in a team sport. How important it is to support my teammates and how to have fun doing competition. Special Olympics has taught me to believe in myself and to be a better man. For if you believe in yourself, you accomplish anything you put your mind to. I hope that all of you enjoy tonight's activities. Thank you for coming out to support your local Special Olympics. just as I promised, with more amazing people here tonight. The big smile on my face, you see the big smile? Yes, it's so big because I'm right here with my dear, dear friends, thanks to whom I am here tonight. And I'm so glad I get to say it in front of a camera for everyone to hear how grateful I am to God, first of all, and for giving me you and Melissa, two big blessings in my life. Thank you so much, Julie, for thinking of me and giving me this way to volunteer and help the Special Olympics. And I am, I just said Julie's name, I'm here with Julie Cheatwood and my dear, dear friend, my sweetheart over here, Melissa Cheatwood. Hi, Julie. Hey, how are you tonight? Very well, thank you. <laughs> 
Oh, well, thank you. I'm wearing a Nikolaiki gown designed by my brother, Nick Vario. Surprise, surprise, of Project Runway and now currently under the gun on Lifetime. I had to give that, that shameless, you know, we always ask that question. And where did you find your gown? I found my gown at Macy's. Very nice. That's and another. Melissa too. And Melissa, yes, you look so beautiful, Melissa. Thanks. So I want to highlight now, if you don't mind, I'm going to turn over here to my sweetheart over here, Melissa. Melissa is one of the accomplished athletes. She's with the San Antonio Athletes Association, is that correct? And you are, tell us a little bit about what sports you do. I play basketball, ice skating, and bowling. Okay, basketball, ice skating, and bowling, folks. Um, I can barely get through a half an hour of PS 30 whatever or something or another. So, oh my goodness, and here she's doing three sports. And by the way, Melissa, you just reminded me, we have a bowling date. Yeah, today. <laughs> no, maybe Monday. Maybe Monday, maybe Monday. We, we, we'll figure it out for sure. I can't wait to go and play bowling with you. So with that, folks, I'm going to leave you, but I'm going to come right back with some more of the athletes that are being honored here tonight. And you guys stay tuned. Stay connected to Latin Connection TV, your connection to the community, and so much more. The average of people with intellectual disabilities or closely related to developmental disabilities ages 8 years old and older. I have competed in athletics, basketball, bocce, bocce, bowling, cycling, golf, flag football, softball, soccer, tennis, table tennis, and unified sports. Through Special Olympics has given me many opportunities. Several years ago, me and my father did a commercial that was on TV. It took eight hours to take, to take this commercial. It only lasted 30 seconds on TV. <laughs> I guess that show this for you. <laughs> and I've had the honor of attending two World Games. I won a gold medal in tennis in North Carolina in 1999, and a gold medal in table tennis in Ireland. That was great. <laughs> Sponsors, none of these opportunities would have been possible. On behalf of all my athletes, I want to thank you for supporting the Special Olympics and attending this wonderful event. Thank you. Tim, before you go, I'm going to keep you up here because I just want to say thank you. Welcome to my world when I work on television. Thank you. Now they know that it's not. It's not as it looks, right? That's we work all those hours for just 30 seconds to show. So I mean, thank you for it's like four and a half months we shot the <laughs> ring it only lasted two and a half hours. On there, that's, and that's in fact what we're about to see this evening at the Oscars, these movies, they take months to film for a total of two hours yeah, to yeah. air. So thank you for, so much for being up here and for sharing your story. And next to me is one of the very special guests of the evening, Mr. Tim Taggart. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. So, Tim, can you tell us a little bit, because indeed you are a special ambassador of sorts, correct? Yes, ma'am. Can you explain to our viewers on Latin Connection TV exactly what your title is and what it entails? I am a graduate global messenger where I've gone all over the, the nation giving speeches on behalf of Special Olympics. I went to Washington, D.C., where I was trained to give speeches to, um, on benefiting Special Olympics, where I've spoken with Tom Landry, Jesse James Leha, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, who was the founder of Special Olympics before she passed away, and many other great celebrities I've given speeches with, and all to benefit. You know what? I know you're highlighting some, some really wonderful people, but I want to highlight you because you are a gold medal winner, and can you tell us what sports you won the gold medal for? You are they there? You have your medals there. What do we have here? 
Excuse me, I'm fighting cedar pollen allergies that are super common here in, in San Antonio, Texas. But anyhow, I do remember he won the gold medal for tennis. Is that correct? Yes, I've won. And for table tennis. I won. I went to two world games. I won one in tennis and one in table tennis. And and tell I, us where they were. Ireland? I went and won the first tennis tournament in 1999 in Raleigh, North Carolina. And then I went... I was chosen to go to Ireland in 2003, where I competed in table tennis, and, and that well, was congratulations. Great. Thank you very so, much. Tim, I want you to share a, a little bit of your personal story that you started to tell us a little bit about how and why you are able now to be, and I'm sure you see it as a blessing now. Probably not when it happened, but you are in fact a victim of a car accident. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. In 1986, three days of Christmas, I was involved in an automobile accident where I was thrown through the passenger window, which knocked me unconscious, and I landed in a puddle of water. When I was thrown through the passenger window, it broke every bone on the right side of my face, broke my jaw, got my right ear almost completely cut off. And I spent six weeks in a coma. They told my parents I would not make it through the first evening. And that wasn't nice for our Christmas vacation to be. And fortunately for me, I woke up a couple days before my 16th birthday. Praise God. I had complete amnesia, though, where they were telling me, Happy birthday, Tim. First of all, I didn't know who Tim was, nor did I know what a birthday was. But through many, many hours of rehabilitation, I was released to go home and start my new life. And then I joined Special Olympics where it has given me many opportunities. I've played many sports that I've never would have played before right. my run. And now here you are, a gold medal winner and a special ambassador, a worldwide ambassador. Tim, thank you so much for everything that you do for the thank Special Olympics. And by the way, he almost stole my job tonight hosting the event. He came in, I invited him, improvised. He didn't even know I was going to do that. And he came on stage, and you did an amazing job. Thank you for joining me up there. Uh, thank you. It was a lovely lady like yourself. Who wouldn't want to have the great opportunity? Ay, gracias. And we even stole a little few Spanish words. So with that, let's say muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Uh, for our public, a nuestro público. Este público. De Latin Connection TV. Este Latin TV, Latin, Latin, TV. Latin Connection TV. There you go. Muchas gracias, everyone. We got to go back. As you can hear, the Oscars are going on as we speak, and we don't want to miss. Hi, everyone, and we are back. We're almost at the end of our special red carpet extravaganza, a special Oscar viewing party put on to benefit the Texas Special Olympics. And here I have to my left the power, the force behind tonight's evening, Miss Anna Twitty. She is the director of creative development, is that right? Of development. Of development. Of, well, you know what, tonight's event was so creative, I had to okay. add a special. <laughs> you, I really congratulate you, you did such a wonderful job. Down to the detail of like the table uh, settings, the, the centerpieces. I took a picture of them so you can see them on my website. And you'll see my website on, on the screen there. But in the meantime, we're here. Explain to me what this event is all about and, and why it's so important. Um, this event is about raising funds for our athletes. In San Antonio, we have over 9,000 athletes. Um, and we do 19 sports just here in San Antonio. So um, that helps to fund them in their the different sports like track and field and bocce and basketball so that they can, uh, they can compete. And, um, they don't have to pay a penny exactly. for that. They don't have to pay a penny. Uh, so the proceeds from this event go to fund those events and um, so that they can travel. And, I mean, and, we, and we as really I said earlier, for them to showcase the talent that they have in sports. Exactly. That exactly. otherwise they wouldn't have a venue to do. That. Exactly. Yes. So, Anna, what, what made you in particular um, start working with this foundation? Well, I actually have an uncle in the program. And uh, it, I have several in my family that have intellectual disabilities, so um, it's very dear to me, obviously. So, um, it, to me, it helps to build their self-esteem, and I mean, oh, it does so much. It, it you know really, what? Really let's does. let's showcase this. It does, which is kind of the fight that that my fiance are putting up in this film that we're we're trying to produce, is to show that. 
we we it's not necessarily special needs that they have. They have the same needs, folks, that we have. Oh, there goes my dress. Oop, this is a G-rated show. Um, they have the same needs, and you know, everybody has the need to showcase themselves in athletics, and um, and and why not? And that it's really it's actually so sad that you need to create a special, you know, because it should be available for everybody. So, you know, thank God that you guys are here. And, and as we say, blessings in disguise, your family members are the driving force now behind you being a blessing to so many others. So thank you so much, Anna, for the work that you do. And a special thanks I want to give to my Latin Connection uh, TV viewers, special thanks to you, Anna, for accepting my volunteering to MC this event. She had never met me before, and under a recommendation of my dear friends that you met earlier in another interview, Melissa Cheatwood and Julie Cheatwood, Anna was so gracious to accept my being the uh, the host this evening. So thank you so much for that. You are so welcome, and I really appreciate you volunteering to do it. I mean, you did a wonderful job, and um, I survived. And yes, you did. You survived. So I guess I'm getting a cue. I feel like I'm on the Oscars right now, and I got. Did you hear that cue to like to cut? So we're cutting with that, and we leave you. This is the end of our uh, special Oscar extravaganza for the Special Texas Olympics this evening. Oscar Red Party. We need to go back as you can hear. I want to hear who won best film. We need to go. Goodbye.